Let's move to the first exercise. Question 30. G of x is equal to x upon x square upon x plus 1 and f of x is equal to x to power minus 1. Which of the following is true? Now these questions tend to confuse a lot of us. And the best way of solving this question is to take a value of x. Okay. Now as per the question gx is given to us as x square upon x plus 1 and fx is x to power minus 1 or I can say this is equal to 1 by x. The questions talk about f of gx, f of gx upon g of fx, f of gx minus g of fx, f of gx, g of fx. Okay. Let me find everything for x equal to 1. Now if x is equal to 1, for x equal to 1, g1 will be x square plus 1 by 1, which, uh, which, which means uh, 1 plus 1, 2 by 1, which is equal to 2. And f1 is equal to 1 by x, which is nothing but 1. Okay. f of g1, f of g1, which means f of 2. There is nothing but f of 2. Because g1 is equal to 2, so f of 2 will be 1 by 2. And g of f1, f1 is equal to 1. So, g of f1 is nothing but g of 1, which is equal to, again, 1 plus 1, 2 by 1, which is equal to 2. Now, use these values to solve the equation. Let's start checking the choices. Choice A, f of gx. And remember, I have taken x to be equal to 1. So, f of g1, f of g1 is equal to 1 by 2. Choice A, left-hand side, is 1 by 2 f of g1 is 1 by 2. What about right hand side? 1 upon g of fx. 1 upon g of fx. What is g of f1? 2. So, 1 upon 2. So, left hand side and right hand side are telling so that should be the answer. Let's just check out the other choices also just to prove the point. What about choice b? Choice b f of gx. Left hand side is f of gx upon g of fx. Or in our case, f of g1 upon g of f1. f of g1 is 1 by 2. And g of f1 is 2. This is equal to 1 by 4. But right hand side is 1. These are not equal, so choice B is incorrect. Similarly, choice C. f of gx. f of gx again, f of g1 is 1 by 2. Choice C. 1 by 2 minus g of fx2. Which is equal to minus 3 by 2. And the right hand side for this is equal to 1. These are not equal. So choice C is incorrect. So when you have such questions, don't work in terms of the variables. Take a value. For example, in this question, it took x equal to 1. And our calculations became much more simpler. So start working with values and your life becomes easier.